gears to weather. Clay Smith is in the Storm Alert Weather Center with your trick or treat forecast. Clay, good morning. Well, good morning, Michelle, and it's Halloween weekend. The last week the last couple of days of October that is and as we take a look at your temperatures you know stumbled up this morning but it you know it feels pretty uh, cool out there certainly want to grab that sweater as you're heading out we're currently in the 50s 53 in Chattanooga 55 in Nashville now the thing is we're really not going to warm up all that much from where we're at this morning we're only going to top out in the mid 50s very similar to what we had yesterday clouds rain and just dreariness all day long Temperatures now in the 40s in the Blue Ridge and Murphy, 51 in Cleveland, and 51 in Altamont. So it's a nice, cool start. And as we take a look at your radar again, there's going to be more rain today, mainly in the afternoon. Uh, hours, maybe even into the mid morning, but here's where we're dealing with that rain currently in portions of Kentucky and Middle Tennessee. That's all going to dive down into portions of the Tennessee Valley a little bit later on, but right now it's mainly dry. Just a couple of showers moving through Monroe County and back into northeast Alabama. Other than that, really not too many issues. There are some wet roadways primarily in northeast Alabama where we've had those showers and across northwestern Georgia, but overall all. If you're heading out early this morning, really no major issues out there on the roadways. And again, as we go through the rest of your day, best chance of rain through the mid morning and early afternoon hours. Temperatures gradually rising into the mid 50s. Going to be cloudy and cool with west winds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. But taking a look at your future cast again, notice as we go through the day, that rain rotates back through. And then by about 3 o'clock, things start to improve rain wise. However, the clouds, they're not going anywhere today. We're going to be hard pressed to find find any sunshine as we continue through the rest of the evening. Just a couple of showers, especially in the higher elevations along the western North Carolina and eastern Tennessee line. And as we go through the overnight hours, we're actually going to start to see some clearing and that's going to set the stage for much better weather as we head into your Halloween, which is perfect for all of those trick or treaters out there. The forecast certainly is going to improve, but as for additional rainfall today, not going to be overly impressive. Again, we're not looking at a washout. However, some locations may squeeze out an additional quarter of an inch, especially in those places with um, some of that elevation. But again, after today, really no rain chance until about Wednesday into Thursday, and then our next system is going to bring in cooler air as we come into the end of next week, plus additional rain chances. But again, we're going to stay below average as far as temperatures are concerned through at least the middle of the week. And then look how we really drop off. And again, this is your high 54 next Friday overnight lows potentially dipping into the 30s. In fact, we could have our first frost next weekend. That's something we're monitoring closely. But again, it looks like through the first week of November, we're going to have pretty good shot at seeing below average temperatures. So if you like sweater weather, good news. We're going to have more of that heading your way. But for today, 56 scattered showers, cloudy and cool. And again, the mocks play at home today. So if you're heading out to the game, you're going to want to grab that umbrella and of course a jacket. As for tonight, 49 with those showers ending, clearing overnight. And for that trick or treat forecast, if you're getting out there tomorrow night, we're looking at temperatures in the 60s falling into the 50s during the evening. So it is going to be a little cool. You might want to grab that jacket uh, to go over your costume. But again, as we go into early next week, it's going to be pretty phenomenal weather wise. And then we see that rain coming back into the forecast heading into next week. But you know, I'm sure all the trick-or-treaters out there are super happy about that forecast for tomorrow, Michelle. Yeah. Hey, it's